Okay, now when this pops up, it says there's a problem with the printer or ink system. Turn the printer off. If it persists, call HP. What's happened there is that the one of the chambers in the in the printhead has been starved of ink, and then that gives you this error code. So I'm going to show you how to correct it. Now I just installed a continuous ink system, and that popped up. I I made that happen so you can see how to fix it. Now in this video I'm going to show you. Now I just turned it off and turned it back on. I'm going to see if that error code goes away. Now it still says the same thing. So now we're going to investigate a little bit more. Okay, now I took the two screws off the back of the print head. And you notice there's little contact springs and they touch each one of these blocks right here. I'm going to put a little piece of aluminum foil over each one of them and put it back. I want to see if that corrects that um, ink system failure problem. My guess is going to be that the chamber inside, there's two little pins that go in and when the ink goes in, makes a contact and tra transfer that contact to, these, to the board but I don't think it's getting enough contact. So I'm going to try the piece of aluminum foil over each one. I'll show you that. Now I don't know if you should leave it on there, but I'm going to give it a try right now. Okay, now I just folded some ordinary aluminum, you know, foil, and I'm going to cover that area there, and I'm going to put a piece of scotch tape to hold it there until I can assemble it back. But just over like that, I want one separate one for each one of the contacts. Now you can see how I've got the little aluminum. So now I'm going to be able to put the board up and put the screws on. Now you don't want any of these touching. You don't want this one touching that one or that one touching that one. Keep them separated. Okay, now I put the ribbon cable back in, got the screws back in, now I'm going to put the print head back in. Bring the lever back up, because there's a locking lever in there. You want to make sure you bring that up to lock it in. There you go, I'm sorry, bring it down, not up. Okay, now let's put in the cartridges and see if our error message goes away. Okay, now I got the cartridges in. I'll put the jumper in. And it's going to ask again for the schedule maintenance. We'll say okay. Now it's going to do alignment again. And we're going to see if it fails now. Last time it failed on the alignment as far as it went into ink system failure. So I think in the printhead itself, there may be some problems with some of the HP printheads. There it goes. It's going to try to prime it up now. And it gives a false reading. Now, sometimes you can put a set of HP in, cartridge brand new ones, and they'll bring it back. And then you can put the uh, ink system back in and everything's fine. But sometimes it keeps making you go back and forth, back and forth. You want to make sure the cartridges are primed and then if you don't have a set of brand new set of HPs this is a little trick that you can try. A lot of people don't want to go out and buy a set of HPs that cost around a hundred bucks. Okay now see I'm getting something. So it had nothing to do with the ink system or the COC smart chips. It had to do with the printhead. The paper got stuck printing this out. So if you have a brand new set of HPs, then you can probably clear it that way. But if you don't, I just showed you a little trick. The only danger with using that is if you let the ink tank or the cartridge go too empty, you could burn out your printhead. 
So I want you to be aware of that. Um, you can leave it on there. But that sometimes can happen. And sometimes when one color isn't printing, all it turns out to be is you got to prime up the cartridge. But I think a lot of times it's the printhead gets confused about how much ink is in that cavity. And when those, I'm going to, in the video, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, about the two pins going in. And the liquid of the ink makes the contact. So I'm going to go get an old printhead. Okay, the alignment page finally came out. So now I'm going to print something out. I'll print one of the test pages or something. It just says now printing. I don't know why, but I might have something in the queue here. Now, you're going to see this right here. It says the alignment was unsuc unsuccessful. I don't care. I really don't care. Okay, let's go to our ink levels. They're all full. Or at least the yellow, cyan, magenta, or low. So there was nothing wrong with the ink system. It's the printhead itself has a problem that when it gets stuck in an error code, it's hard to erase it. So I just showed you how to do that. It says print report. Let's print it. And this is an old 8600 Pro. We've had it for about two years. I beat the death out of it in doing all these tests. There you go. I already see all my colors. Now let's go over and see. Everything looked good. There's the version number. That happens to be the new one. Then we go down here and it'll tell us how many printed, prints we printed. We printed 36,950 prints through this printer. But see, after that firmware update, it did something where it, it drives these printers crazy. I think they tried to fix something and they probably created more of a problem. Now, this is a repair and maintenance video, so I'm going to show you other repair things you need to know and other maintenance things you know but the HP 8600 Pro 8610 8620 and 30 they're just awesome printers it's just they got a couple little things we got to get through and you should like the printer we've been doing this 20 years we don't sell a product till we know it's going to work and how to fix a problem. And our latest COC smart chips are just the best. Okay, now I went and got an old, old printhead. Just wanted to show you. There's those little springs I was talking about. See, I think what happens over time, they get dirty back there or whatever, but they don't report correctly. So now, in here, there's two pins where that go through so the two pins come in here and when you fill the print head cavity up with ink it makes a contact becomes a conductor so it'll make an electric connection and it tells the printer oh yeah there's ink in there keep printing but sometimes it doesn't register correctly or uh, maybe just because you're using an ink system maybe refillable cartridges uh, you know, refilling the HPs, you may never experience that, but if you do experience it, when you're using a system, then with the aluminum foil, I showed you how to fix it. The downside, and this is very important, if you run it out of ink, it will burn that printhead out. So, beware of that. Now, I've left the foil on. I keep watching my ink. I don't let it run empty, so I don't have that problem. I prime up the cartridges when they need it, and this is called maintenance. You know, you got to know this if you're going to use an ink supply system. Now, this is another important thing. A lot of companies sell a dye-based ink to print through here. 
that is when you really can have some problems clogging the printhead because these are thermal printheads and they have to heat up to a certain temperature and the ink has to be right and then it fires it. If the ink doesn't heat up correctly like dye base because if it was going to be dye base HP would have put dye base in there. It can burn it out and you obviously this is for the people out there don't ever use sublimation ink in a thermal printhead. No matter what you read on the internet, it will not work. So there. So now with this video, you might understand a lot more.